All right, we'll continue with part two of the endocrine system. And basically, chapter 18, we go into catecholamines, corticosteroids, electrolytes, glucocorticoids. Now, a catecholamine is a hormone derived from an amino acid and secreted by the adrenal medulla. Corticosteroids are hormones produced by the adrenal cortex. Electrolyte is a mineral salt found in blood and tissues, and glucocorticoid is a steroid hormone secreted by the adrenal cortex, regulates glucose, fat, protein, and metabolism. Okay, uh, now you have homeostasis, a hormone, hypothalamus, and mineralocorticoid. Homeostasis is the tendency of an organism to maintain a constant internal environment. That's the sole purpose of the human body. Hormone, substance secreted by the endocrine gland to influence structure or function of an organ or gland. Uh, that's the endocrine system. The hypothalamus is the region of the brain lying below the thalamus and above the pituitary gland. A mineral corticoid is a steroid hormone secreted by the adrenal cortex to regulate mineral salts and water balance in the body. Uh, receptor, Selaterska sex hormones. A receptor is cellular or nuclear protein that binds to a hormone so that a response can be elicited. The Selaterska is a cavity in the skull that contains the pituitary gland. Sex hormones are steroids produced by the adrenal cortex to influence male and female sexual characteristics. Steroid, simple, mimetic, and the target tissue. So a steroid is a complex substance related to fats and of which many hormones are made. Sympatho or sympatho, mimetic, pertaining to or mimicking or copying the effect of the sympathetic nervous system. And the sympathetic nervous system is your fight or flight. And the target tissue is cells of an organ that are affected or stimulated by specific hormones. All right, quick quiz. The outer section of the adrenal gland is called the B, adrenal cortex. Secreted by the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland, stimulates ovulation in females and testosterone secretion in males. That will be A, luteinizing hormone. All right, so now we can go into the combining forms, suffixes, prefixes. And that's really the whole sole purpose of medical terminology is, can you be able to put two words together and basically understand the meaning, right? So if you know bits and pieces, prefixes, suffixes, uh, then you should be able to figure out what it means, hopefully by now. So let's look at adeno gland. So if I had adenoectomy, you know that ectomy means removal, so removal of a gland. Uh, adrenal, are the adrenal gland? So adrenal ectomy would be removal of an adrenal gland. Gonado are the sex glands, the ovaries and testes. So gonadotropin is a hormone that is secreted from the pituitary gland that acts on the gonads. Uh, pancreatic, uh, that's pertaining to the pancreas. So pancreatectomy would be removal of the pancreas. Uh, parathyroid, parathyroid, so parathyroidectomy. Remember, ectomy is all removal. So once you understand that, then that's removal of the parathyroid glands. A pituitary, a pituitary gland, hypothesis. Um, so you have thyrotropin, that's the thyroid gland. So thyrotropin is a hormone secreted by the anterior pituitary. And then you have thyroid gland. So how about thyroiditis? Good old itis, the inflammation of the thyroid gland. Uh, what about andro, uh, male? Uh, androgen is a substance producing or stimulating male characteristics. Um, you know how women go through menopause. Well, guys can go through andropause as well. So you have calcio, calcium, uh, pertaining to calcium. So hyper, hypercalcemia or hypocalcemia is hyper would be increased calcium in the blood and hypocalcemia would be decreased calcium in the blood. Uh, cortico is cortex. So corticosteroid is any of the hormones produced by the adrenal cortex. So then you know, hey, corticosteroid, cortex, outer region, the adrenal cortex makes that. Uh, crin, secrete. Uh, um, how about the endocrinologist, specialist in diagnosis and treatment endocrine gland disorders? Uh, dips, uh, that's thirst. 
So polydipsia, condition of excessive thirst. Uh, estra, female, so estrogenic, pertaining to having properties similar to estrogen. Uh, Glucoglyco sugar, uh, glucagon, hormone from the pancreas that causes sugar to be released into the bloodstream when blood sugar levels are low. Homeo, same, remember homeostasis, uh, state of equilibrium. Hormonal, pertaining to hormones. Uh, cal is uh, potassium, so you can have, well, hyper, hypo or hyperkalemia, low levels of, would be hypo and hyper would be high levels. Um, mix is mucus, okay, mixed edema, condition of mucus-like swelling of the face. Uh, natro is uh, sodium, so hyponatremia is blood condition of deficiency of sodium or hypernatremia excessive sodium, uh, phys growing, so hypophysectomy, removal of the pituitary gland. Somato is body, so somatotropin, hormone secreted by the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland, simulates growth of hormones. Uh, stero, solid structure, so a steroid is an organic containing carbon compound with a ring structure, bile acids, vitamin D. Um, toxic position, you guys know what a toxicology would be, or uro is urine, so a urologist would study uh, um, the urinary system. Now you go into the suffixes, uh, and that would be agon, um, is it assemble together, so glucagon, hormone from the pancreas that assembles sugar. Uh, anemia would be a blood uh, condition. Um, a substance is in tropin, stimulating the function of. And then urea is uh, urine condition. So you can just put any kind of prefix on that and you can change that meaning. Uh, U is good. Okay. Euthyroid, normal thyroid gland function. Hyper excessive, hypo deficient, again hypercalcemia, hypocalcemia. Uh, oxy, uh, rapid sharp acid. Okay. Oxygen, oxytocin, uh, hormones secreted by the posterior lobe simulates childbirth. Uh, pan is all. Pan hypopituitarism, condition of deficiency secretion of all hormones. Pangea, I don't know if you uh, studied uh, geography before, but we used to have one big continent called Pangea. Poly is much. Um, there's lots of words that you can use with that. Uh, tetra is four. Tetra Idothyronine is a thyroid gland hormone containing four atoms, and tri is triidothyronine is thyroid gland hormone containing three atoms of iodine, which term means surgical excision of the adrenal gland. That would be adrenalectomy, and which term means a blood condition of too little potassium. And that would be hypokalemia. Hypocalcemia would be calcium. Hyperkalemia would be too much potassium. So what are some uh, pathological conditions? Uh, you could have a goiter, which is enlargement of the thyroid. Hypersecretion, hyperthyroidism can lead to Graves' disease, exophthalmus and proptosis. Uh, hyposecretion can lead to hypothyroidism. Uh, myxedema and cretinism, and neoplasms, thyroid carcinoma. So what are some things that are related to hypothyroidism? Okay, so hypothyroidism, usually you get fatigue, muscular mental sluggishness, uh, weight gain, fluid retention, slow heart rate, low body temperature, and constipation. Whereas hyperthyroidism would be the other way. Yeah, uh, usually a lot of uh, energy. They're usually skinny. Uh, they have a fast heart rate. Um, 
And so those would be the difference between a hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism. Hypersecretion, hyperparathyroidism, loss of bone uh, density, kidney stones, hypercalcemia. A hyposecretion, hypoparathyroidism, uh, muscle and nerve weakness, tetany, and hypocalcemia. Hypersecretion, adrenal virilism, amenorrhea, hirsutism, acne, voice deepening, uh, Cushing syndrome, obesity, moon phase, thoracic fat deposition. Uh, hyposecretion would be Addison disease, deficient of mineral corticoids and glucocorticoids. Hyponatremia, fatigue, weakness, weight loss, low blood pressure. Hypersecretion is pheochromomycytoma, benign tumor of the adrenal medulla, ex excess epinephrine, norepinephrine. Uh, what do you get with that? You get hypertension, tachycardia, palpitations, severe headaches, sweating, flushing of the face, and muscle spasms. Hypersecretion, uh, hyperinsulism, you get hypoglycemia, convulsions, fainting. Hyposecretion, uh, uh, that would be diabetes. You can have type 1 or type 2, lack of insulin secretion or resistance of insulin in promoting sugar, starch, and fat metabolism. So type 1, unfortunately, is a childhood onset, typically can occur in childhood, uh, but type 2 is adult uh, onset, typically. So the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes, again, this is not a physiology or anatomy class, but having a general idea is always good. Uh, some clinical features, uh, type 1, you're going to get it before the age of 30. Uh, it's usually abrupt, uh, rapid onset of symptoms, little or no insulin production, thin or normal body weight on the onset, uh, ketoacidosis often occurs, um, symptoms, polyuria, hormones loss of water, polydipsia, dehydration causes thirst, polyphagia, tissue breakdown causes hunger, and how do you treat it? With insulin. Type 2 usually occurs after the age of 30, uh, gradual onset, asymptomatic, insulin usually present, obesity in 85% of those affected, uh, ketoacidosis seldom occurs, um, you get polyuria sometimes seen, polydipsia sometimes seen, and polyphagia sometimes seen. Uh, how do you treat it? Well, you can diet, weight loss, oral hypoglycemics or insulin. Um, some other hypersecretions is acromegaly or gigantism, the pituitary gland, and then you can get hyposecretion, which is dwarfism or panhypopituitarism. So I think I mentioned this before, but here's a picture of acromegaly, but then here's dwarfism. And to review the difference between Cushing syndrome and Addison, so Cushing syndrome is due to excess cortisol-like medication like prednisone or tumor that produces or results in production of excessive cortisol. Uh, cases due to pituitary or adeno. So you get Cushing's disease, you get like this moon face, uh, dark facial hair in women. Enlarged supracavicular uh, fat pads here, osteoporosis, hypertension, you get a, a, a abdominal striae, so you get these stretch marks, uh, cardiac hypertrophy, uh, muscle wasting in the extremities, poor wound healing. But as in the disease, uh, that's more adrenal glands that produce sufficient steroids, uh, skin hyperpigmentation, low blood uh, pressure, weakness, weight loss, uh, GI issues such as nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, constipation, abdominal pain, might get vitiligo. Uh, adrenal crisis, fever, syncope, convulsions, hypoglycemia, hyponatremia, severe vomiting, and diarrhea. Um, pathology of the posterior gland, lobe of the pituitary gland, you get hypersecretion syndrome of inappropriate ADH, excesses ADH, excessive water retention. Hyposecretion, you get diabetes insipidus. You hear about diabetes mellitus, but you don't hear too much of diabetes insipidus. Uh, but you get deficient ADH, polyuria, and polydipsia. So here's uh, some of the uh, review of abnormal conditions that can occur. So here's the endocrine gland. Okay, so these are the adrenal cortex, medulla, your pancreas, your parathyroid glands, your pituitary, and your thyroid. So if you get too much hormones of the adrenal cortex, you can get adrenal virilism, push, Cushing syndrome. If you get too little hyposecretion, uh, then you get Addison disease. Uh, adrenal medulla, you get uh, pheochromocytoma. 
uh, pancreas, hypersecretion, where you would get hyperinsulinism. Uh, if you get hyposecretion, then you get diabetes. If you have parathyroid issues, you might get parathyroidism, so that you get hypercalcemia, osteoporosis, and kidney stones. If you get hyposecretion, you can get hypoparathyroidism, which is tetany, hypocalcemia. Uh, some issues with the pituitary gland of the anterior lobe, you get acromegaly or gigantism. If you get hyposecretion, then you get dwarfism. If you get posterior lobe issues in the pituitary gland, you can get syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormones, or you get diabetes insipidus. And then issues with thyroid gland hypersecretion, you're going to get Graves' disease, nodular, uh, adenotomos, goiters. And if you get hyposecretion, uh, you can get an endemic goiter, my, my dexima in adults. Okay. Or some lab tests that you might do. You might do a fasting plasma glucose, FPG, measure circulating glucose in a patient who has fasted at least eight hours. Uh, serum and urine test measures hormones, electrolytes, glucose, and blood and urine as indicators of endocrine function. And then thyroid functional tests such as T3, T4, and TSH in the bloodstream. What are some clinical procedures you can do? You can go to exophthalmotry, <laughs> computed tomography, uh, magnetic uh, resonance imaging, thyroid scan, ultrasound examination. What are some uh, abbreviations that you might see in the medical charts? You might see an A1C. Uh, A1C is a blood test that measures glycosylated hemoglobin, HbA1c, to access glucose control. Uh, ACTH, adrenocorticotropic hormone. ADH, antidiuretic hormone, vasopressin. Uh, CA+, calcium, CGMS, continuous glucose monitoring system. DI is diabetes insipidus, where DM is diabetes mellitus. Now, just to make sure that you don't get diabetes insipidus and diabetes mellitus confused. So diabetes mellitus has to do with insulin, purely insulin. Whereas diabetes insipidus is a disorder of salt and water metabolism, um, usually marked by intense thirst, uh, heavy urination. Uh, it occurs when the body can't regulate how it handles the fluids. So totally different uh, from each other. Um, DKA is diabetic uh, ketoacidosis. Uh, FBG is fasting blood glucose, FBS, fasting blood sugar, um, FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. Now, again, this is not an anatomy or physio class, it's just medical terminology. So you just want to know how to spell each one and the general idea what they mean. Um, GH growth hormone, GTT, glucose tolerance test, HbA1c, test for presence of glucose attached to the hemoglobin, also called AIC. Uh, HCG or HCG, human chorionic uh, gonadotropin, IGF, insulin growth factors, K is potassium, LH is luteinizing hormone, MDI, multiple daily injections, NA is sodium, OT or OXT is oxytocin, PRL is prolactin, and as we end up, PTH is parathyroid, RAI is radioactive iodine, RI, RIA, radioimmunoassay, RAIU, radioactive iodine uptake, SIADH, syndrome and inappropriate antidiuretic hormones, SMBG, self monitoring of blue clover, SST, somatotropin, growth hormone, T3, thi or tri iodothyronine, that means three iodine molecules, uh, and T4, thyroxine or tetra, which is four iodothyronine. TFT is the thyroid function test, and TSH is a thyroid stimulating hormone. Whew, that was rough. <laughs>